Hello and welcome to The Consumer. Today we will be talking about my consumption of the movie The Last Duel. This is a slow, dramatic movie about uh, a squire and a knight and the relations of the, the knight's wife. Starring these fools right here. Let's go ahead and get with the uh, masculine-feminine scale. This is a uh, probably like a 6 masculine, 4 feminine, or 7, 3... It's a very dramatic role. I'll go 7-3. It's a very dramatic role, so it's obviously serious. I do not see how people could enjoy this in the theaters. There's only a tiny amount of action at the very end, so I give this a 9 couch score. The only reason I give it a 1 on the theater score is the production quality is extremely high, and some people might want to watch that in theaters. Uh, this is probably a split even between foreground and background. Uh, a lot of the quality of the movie is in the acting performances, and if you're not actively watching it, you're going to miss all those little good acting nuances. It's a relatively normal movie. You can maybe give it a one on the woke scale because there's like a rape scene in there, and there's a tiny hint of believe all women in it, just a tiny hint. So it's only get a one on the woke scale. This is a full pretentious movie. There is zero camp. They are being as serious as possible. That being said, let's go into the lows of this movie. It is slow. It is relatively slow. If you're not into slow movies with not a lot of action, you will not enjoy this movie. It is not for you. Uh, another low, I think, is uh, Ben Hooflick. Ben Hooflick, I think, was slightly missed cast in this movie. He wasn't necessarily bad. He just showed through as Ben Affleck. Matt Damon kind of seemed like he was a different person. Adam Driver kind of seemed like he was a dis different person. Matt Damon, I mean, uh, Ben Affleck felt like Ben Affleck. So he didn't feel like an actor. He felt like a movie star. Like, why is Ben Affleck in 13th century France? You know, I don't think he, he did a very good job. At least not as good as the other two. The uh, highs of the movie. It is a very pretentious Oscar bait movie. So it was perfectly filmed. It was uh, perfectly acted. Except for maybe Ben Affleck. Uh, it does this interesting uh, changing perspectives in the movie. It tells us pers perspective from three different characters. The chick who was raped the raper, and the husband of the raped lady. Uh, and uh, it was very unique because of that perspective. There's not a lot of movies that are exactly like it. And on that, let's go to some similar things. The same person did Gl Gladiator that also did The Last Duel, so there are some similar feels, but where Gladiator has a lot more action about his revenge this one has more drama about revenge. Like, instead of doing a duel, which is what happens at the end, the whole movie is him trying to settle things through different channels other than fighting, and it breaks down into a duel at the very end because that's just how it has to go. Uh, another movie I found it to be somewhat similar, nowhere in premise, but in feel, was Arrival. A lot of people saw Arrival as being a alien movie when really it was a communication movie. It was a movie about how do we properly communicate with aliens if they ever landed on Earth. I personally think that both Gladiator and Arrival are better than this film. So on that, I will move into the total score, and I'm giving it a 68. Not a bad movie by any stretch, but I think most people who watch this are not going to enjoy it very much because it lacks action and it's a very heavy period piece drama and i don't think a lot of people enjoy that kind of movie but for the people who do they're probably really gonna like this movie but i just don't think that's gonna be most people and for me it wasn't so i give it a 68 i did enjoy the movie but uh, i'd say it's better than 68 percent of the movies out there and so that's that. Some of the feels you're going to be getting in this movie is justice. A uh, girl's raped, and she refuses to lie about it because back in the time, you were pressured to lie about it. So they tell us. We don't know. Uh, there's a redemption arc, kind of, for Matt Damon because he's been slighted so many times. 
there's a lot of boredom and drama tnt we know drama uh overall thoughts on the movie uh, it's a great plot executed perfectly but very slow and very pretentious so if you like a slow pretentious movie this movie is for you, but overall, I would say skip this and don't consume.